Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2021 and a half Sunseeker 2150 LE Class C motorhome. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of this small RV, and then we're going to close it all up and show you what it looks like closed as well. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the new 2021 and a half Sunseeker 2150 LE model here. We will spin our way through the RV here, kind of show you around. We're going to start back here in the back section. So in the rear of the RV here in the corner, we have our bed. It's a nice Serta Pillow Top mattress. On the foot of the bed here is a, that little black box down there. It's an electric box with some breakers and fuse stuff in it. There is a little heat vent on the side of the bed back there. You have a window at the head of the bed and on the side. The side window does open, the one at the head of the bed does not. There's a little nightstand on each side with a little cup holder there as well. There is an electric outlet on the bottom of that cabinet back there. Obviously, you can see some overhead cabinetry here. There is a uh, vent right here as well. Now, at the foot of the bed here, you do have a place where you could hook up a TV if you wanted to. So you have an electric outlet there, your cable satellite inlet, a 12-volt outlet there as well. There's a light switch down below. And in this control panel right here works your air conditioner and furnace controls right here. Over here to the right of the bed here, we do have a little closet area, which this is built into the slide. So this will move in and out with the slide, but that is your hanging closet and a drawer down below. You have your bathroom, medicine cabinet, and stuff up top. And then you have some storage down below the sink area. Electric outlet behind the faucet there is the ground fault electric breaker. Back in behind here is going to be your little bathroom area. And you have the porcelain foot flush toilet you can see there. ABS tub surround basically a little step-in shower area here. There's a heat vent in here along with an air conditioning vent as well. You have a vent fan up top and there is also a skylight above the shower area. And then it has kind of a pull across a vinyl curtain as well. Now there is a little step up I forget to mention this sometimes on certain models, um, but when you're going from the kitchen living room area up into the bedroom, there is about a, say about a five or six inch step up into this area. Now over here for your kitchen space, you do have the Magic Chef 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator right here. Nice refrigerator system. Again, if you're a boondock style camper, um, it's really nice because again, it works off 12 volt. You don't have to have electricity. Uh, it's not burning through your propane. And if you do the solar packages and things like that on RVs, a lot of times that will regenerate the power for the batteries to keep the fridge running for a while. Obviously your generator and shore power do create electricity which turns into the converter making 12 volt power as well so a lot of ways that it works but basically it's 12 volt power uh, down below there you have your 1.3 cubic foot convection microwave so you can cook or microwave either one with that you have a three burner gas stove top with a flip down glass lid there's a couple drawers down below and some storage under the sink area there as well. Up top here, you do have some overhead storage. A 
Now there is a turbo exhaust fan right here as well. These things move a lot of air, really nice fans. Over here you have your stereo entertainment system. Um, you've got, obviously you can see a TV here, which is on a pretty big swing arm, so you can bring that out away from the uh, window in the bed area right there and bring it out here a little more where it's visible from the dinette area. Up here you also have some controls. So we have our uh, light switch for the driver's side rear light here. We have living room kitchen light switches. This one was ordered with the Arctic Pack, nice 12 volt heat pads on the holding tanks and stuff. Um, that's an option, you don't have to get it if you don't want it. A water pump, gas water heater switch, electric water heater switch, slide out switch, generator start stop button, hour meter, uh, your LP, how full it is basically, battery condition, fresh black and gray tank levels. Uh, so quite a few things here on that panel. A little bit of overhead storage space. There's an HDMI thing up here. Cables and electric outlet back in there as well. Now kind of looking down here into your step well area. Uh, you do have a flip up counter here. Uh, just to kind of give you a little more counter space for dishes and things like that. Also again that glass lid if you're not using the stove gives you decent counter space as well. Uh, but down there on the side, heat vents are blowing out of the cabinetry area down there. There's a couple more switches down there, one for the awning, a couple for lights, and a battery disconnect switch down there also. Now you do have a ladder here that would help you get up and down on this bunk area here if you're going to use that for sleeping space. This mattress section right here is removable. Basically, this just kind of comes up out of there and you push it on back, giving yourself more headroom when you're driving. Uh, also, just kind of makes it easier to exit from the driver's seat or passenger seat into the back of the RV. You have some storage space up here, little cup holder area. Um, there's an electric outlet down inside this little storage area here also. The windows on both sides of this bed area do open too. Also you can see here your ducted air conditioning system, couple inside speakers. Now your U-shaped dinette section here, you have a couple drawers built in that pull out. This will also make into a bed if you want to make it into a bed. There's three seat belts in there as well, so you could have some passengers ride back here if you wanted to. Uh, you have some overhead cabinets up above that, and another big window overlooking the back of the campsite area. Uh, propane leak detector down there. And there's also a little cup holder in the corners of those dinette cushions there and a little magazine rack holder or you know, remote holder, whatever you want to use it for. Fire extinguisher down below, guys. And you also have, obviously, the cockpit area here. Um, so you can kind of see here a little bit of a digital display in the center for like average miles, your speedometer, uh, a few different things that kind of go through there. You have a tow haul uh, button, some controls on the steering wheel as well. You're currently using the Sony stereo system. There's USB charger ports and stuff built into the dash. Obviously heat and air conditioners, uh, all that type of stuff. You have uh, power windows and power door locks also, if I forget to mention that. Now, one of the cool things I do really like on here, you can kind of see this in this video, hopefully, but we are looking at the rear camera right here. So when you're driving down the road, you can see what's going on here behind you if you want to. Um, or let's say we're gonna turn on the left turn. I can see my left camera 
turn on the right turn, I can see my right camera. Uh, so pretty cool. And then there's some little bit of controls right here. Uh, so you can change in between cameras as well. Uh, there's a volume control thing on there. I believe the back camera might have sound if I remember correctly. Um, but overall, again, guys, pretty cool setup here. We're going to head on to the outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. And then we will come back in and we will show you what it looks like closed up. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the all new Sunseeker 2150 LE Class C motorhome here. We're gonna start here on the door side of the RV and kind of work our way around. So first things up, we are currently looking at this model on the E350 Ford chassis with the 7.3 liter gas motor. Now they do offer this model with a Chevy chassis, but unfortunately, Right now with COVID going on, apparently there's a pretty good shortage in the Chevy chassis. Uh, so they are probably gonna build most of them for the remainder of the year on the Fords, unless something happens and they become available. Uh, so you're most likely gonna find these all being built on the Ford chassis right now. White fiberglass exterior here. You do have a nice fiberglass cap on the top section there as well, heavy duty cap. You have deep tent safety glass windows. Power awning with an LED light strip built in. Has the manual override in this front head where you could stick a socket and ratchet in there and crank it in and out. Also, they have speakers built into each arm head up there. So you, that is where your outdoor speakers are currently located. Entry door, traditional RV entry door, does come down nice and low, has a screen door, does have a window in it as well. But coming down nice and low like this, it just makes it a little bit easier to step up into the RV. Now, right here is a battery compartment. Comes with one house battery on the LED, LED models, um, but you got room for two if you wanted to do two. There is a little safe thing right into that top step as well. And then you also have some of your fuses and controls and stuff back in behind that box area there. Next to the entry door, you have the large handle there and also is your model number as well. Down on the lower side of the entry door there, it is pre-wired for a portable solar panel. They're advertising for the Zamp solar panel, but there are other brands out there as well, GoPower, Furion, a few other things uh, that do make plug-ins for these connectors. If storage compartment down here, and then you have a electric outlet up above there as well. Now, just above the wheels there, you have your furnace exhaust out. Just to the left of that, the little round thing up there is your gravity fill for your freshwater tank. Just to the left of that is going to be your six gallon gas electric water heater. It's partially hidden by that storage door that's flipped up there. Uh, but you do have a gas electric water heater for the RV. Now down into that storage compartment area there, you have obviously storage, but back in behind there, there's a little door that flips down and that's where your water pump is located. Also the low point water drains and the water pump kit for winterization purposes. And there's a little screen filter thing in there that you could uh, drain out every now and kind of clean out. Now here you have a large pass through storage compartment area here. You can see there's even a little section that goes back up in here a little bit. But a pretty big compartment there. Ladder here comes down nice and low, so it's easy to step up onto that ladder and climb up right onto your roof. There is a hitch on the back of the RV 
Now this one again being on the E350 chassis, this hitch has a 5,000 pound tow capacity, 500 pound hitch weight it says. There is a seven way Bargman wiring plug here, however it is not set up with a brake control. So if you are towing something that needs electric brakes, you would need to wire it aftermarket with a brake control as the RV does not have that. Um, if you get the larger Sunseeker models, like the 3010 model I uh, videoed not too long ago, that is on the E450 chassis and that version would have a 7,500 pound tow capacity. So you could haul a little bit more. Now up top on the center light up there is also the rear observation or backup camera. And there's also two side cameras, one on each side. So when you turn on your left turn, uh, you know, that turn signal will turn on, you turn on your right turn, that camera will turn on kind of scenario, uh, which we talked about that when we were inside. Now up top on the roof, you can kind of see pop up here, guys. There is, you know, air conditioner, TV antenna, plumbing stack vents, all that type of stuff up there. Now on that roof, you do got to get up there, kind of maintain the seals and stuff. You want to wash it every now and then as well. Here is the other side of the storage compartment. Now, on this side of the storage compartment, I was kind of being a little lazy here. I just pulled the cord out instead of sticking it down in the hole that it's supposed to go down through. Um, but you do have the hole there so that you can put the cord down and close the actual door. Your power cord will plug into that junction box right there if you're wanting to use the generator. So you would have to unplug your shore power, plug it into that junction box, fire up your generator, cruise on down the road, have an electricity, um, allowing you to basically run your air conditioner, convection oven, whatever you need to use. Um, if you're boondock camping, that type of stuff, just remember to plug that back in. If you're going to a campground with shore power, unplug it, plug it into the campground, you're good to go. There is a park cable hookup, satellite hookup right there next to that junction box as well. Over here in this compartment, we have our dump area. So we have our gray tank and black tank dump areas right here. There's a little light in here. City water hookups right here. Black tank flush is also right here to help clean out the toilet tank. And again, there is a little hole down there to put the dump hose through if you're permanently hooking up scenario. Your gas fill right there. They do have a light on this side as well. You can see up there. We have a 12 volt slide out system here. And this is currently using the Lippert in-wall slide, uh, formerly known as the Schwintech slide. And basically very similar to what you'll find in a lot of the fifth wheel stuff that I have demoed in the past. Um, so you'll kind of see a little more information about that on there as well. Now up top, we also have a slide out awning cover. So when that slide out rolls in and out, that cover rolls up with it. So pretty nice, kind of helps shade the top of the room, uh, helps repel some water, leaves, twigs, debris, things like that. Over here, we do have your propane tank. Now, these are not removable. They're built into the RV. Uh, so you do have to drive the whole RV to a propane place to fill it. Um, so it would have to go back to say an RV dealer, uh, some campgrounds might have fills there or, you know, a propane place, whatever, but it does stay attached to the RV on motorhomes. Up here, you have a little bit of storage area. That's basically under the back part of that U-shaped dinette. Over here, we have our Onan 4,000 watt gasoline generator. Just to the left of that is a camera. That's one of your little side cameras, that little roughly inch and a quarter square there. Um, so they're pretty small and kind of hidden.
Now on the RV, there are a couple little options you can order. Uh, talk with your sales guy about that. But for example, this customer did not order the running boards to help get in and out of the, R the uh, chassis here. So if you want the aluminum running boards, you can order those. Uh, roof mount solar package is available that from the factory. Talk with your sales guy if something like that were to interest you, but you could do the roof mount solar. Now, one option they did put on this one was they did the Arctic package. Um, so that would allow them to camp in a little bit colder weather. Basically, it's 12 volt heat pads put on your fresh gray and black holding tanks to kind of help keep things warm. We're going to uh, pop up some pictures of some stickers here for you guys. Uh, these stickers are basically telling you some of the information about the RV. So first sticker popping up is your main data sticker. And that basically tells you your production date, VIN number, some axle information, tire size, things like that. Next is going to be your unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which basically tells you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Next is your tire sticker, which basically tells you your tire size, but also the proper tire pressure for the RV. And next is gonna be a couple little chassis stickers, just kind of telling you some chassis information from Ford. All right, so we're gonna head inside here. I wanna close up the RV and just kind of show you what it looks like close so you get an idea what it'll be like driving down the road. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back inside the RV here and I wanna show you what it looks like with this slide out closed. So up top here on our monitor panel, we have our slide button again. You need to make sure your uh, brake is set, make sure that your key is on on the ignition. And basically all you gotta do, hit the end button. And you wanna obviously make sure there's nothing in the way of the floor, so you don't accidentally run something over and tear your floor up. But it comes straight in and straight out. And you can see here when it does get all the way in, you still have full access to the whole RV. You're just losing some floor space basically while you're traveling down the road. So you can come in, use your bathroom, get to your closet, uh, you know, pack your fridge full of goodies. You can do all kinds of stuff without even opening the slide. And when you are ready to take it back out, you know, all you got to do again, make sure your uh, park brake is set, turn that ignition key back in place, hit the out button, and it'll go right on out. Once again, guys, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. I hope this got you some pretty good information on the new Sunseeker 2150LE. Really do appreciate you guys. If you are interested, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Really do appreciate it.